Hi Capricorn, this is your forecast for the month of December 2018. This is a general reading for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Rising, or Capricorn Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your rising and moon sign as well. So Capricorn, this first week you have the Star card, and this is a major card. And for some of you, there may be a tie to an Aquarius person. For others of you, this is going to represent perhaps a young female, a young woman in your life, or somebody that can help you, offer you some kind of assistance. It could be a healing agency or somebody who can solve a mystery, a spiritual healer, an astrologer, somebody who is connected to stars. Others of you, perhaps you have some star quality, you're the center of attention, or you're connecting to highly attractive, highly magnetic people, maybe even people who have some measure of fame. So this is going to be a week where you may be dipping into the well of your creativity. You may be divinely inspired. You could have some insights, some inspiration, some creative ideas that come to you. Or you could be making yourself open emotionally. You could be emotionally available, getting in touch with your feelings, getting in touch with source. For others of you, this may be uncomfortable for you. You may feel bare. You may feel exposed and vulnerable to the outside. But this is going to be a week where you are protected through you know, divine guidance. The angels are watching over you. And it's a week for you to rely on your hope, your faith in the future, your optimism about possibilities. Although right now, this first week of December, you may be experiencing some kind of uncertainty and again, seeking some assistance or some guidance. And there could be some help that arrives for you that you didn't expect that comes from unexpected sources. So there's a measure of luck where the focus is comfort, relief, renewal of spirit. And you may be protected or you may be protecting others. So there's a measure of selflessness this week. And you're also getting some illumination. There could be a mystery, something that you were trying to solve. You're trying to get the kernel of truth towards something. Others of you, again, this is a creative focus. You may be developing some special skill or talent. You may be especially intuitive, uh, have greater psychic awareness, feel a stronger connection to others by tapping into your own inner guidance. So you're trying to get a handle on what the future holds, a sense of direction. Some of you, this means perhaps occult or spiritual knowledge. Others of you are focused on renewing your health in some way. You are trying to gain expansion through knowledge, whether that is, again, some source of a secret or greater insight into your creativity or a, a, a body of knowledge so that you can plan for the future. And there could be the unveiling of some kind of truth for you during this week. This is a week of faith where relying on uh, your belief in a higher power is going to be an asset for you. Because right now, given circumstances, maybe you're dealing with something that's unsettling or disturbing even, and your faith is called for. You're going to have to look beyond circumstance to the story, the reason, the essence behind occurrences. And your hope in the future is what's motivating you to move forward. So, for example, some of you may be dealing with some things that are troubling. You don't know what's going to happen. Uh, and yet your faith is a comfort to you because you know that spirit is protecting you and that the universe is always behind you. Because you are at this turning point, this transitional stage where, you know, your life is turning a corner and you don't know quite what's around that corner, but there's some personal transformation. And knowing yourself and getting in touch with inner self is going to provide that guidance for you. You're going to have to find uh, the reason why certain things are happening, the lesson behind events, and take that and fulfill your mission. Because you are being handed some opportunity, whether you understand it or not, to make a personal change in who you are, your understanding 
uh, your ability to be better than you were. So change is going to take place this first week, some kind of transformation. And again, it could be where you're facing some truth or there's an ending and you're going to have to understand why that ending occurred. In some cases, you may find that you're waiting in vain for either somebody to open up emotionally, for you to get some kind of assistance. You are being challenged by your faith and your belief in self and positivity. And so you're going to have to find that silver lining and you're also going to have to find the target, the bullseye, where you're directing your faith. Are you putting your faith in people or circumstances that are sure to let you down, thinking that you can make it better, improve it, make it work, when in fact, that's not the truth. It's a dead-end situation. Or are you really involved in something where, yes, you may fall down a couple of times, there's some uncertainty, you don't know how it's going to work out, but your hope is alive. And so if you know the difference between those two scenarios, you've got most of the game conquered. Now, it's important to recognize what your intuition is telling you as opposed to where your emotion is driving you. You could misinterpret the two and make a poor decision. So again, you're being challenged on your belief, your faith, your confidence in yourself in other people as well, and circumstances, because something about what you believe is going to be challenged, is going to change, and for the better if you allow yourself to open up to new possibilities. Something is going to unfold and play out, although you had in your head a particular scenario, but the movie ending is just a little bit different. Now, the second week, you have another major card. So this means that the first half of the month is especially significant and important for you. And perhaps, you know, there's providence at work. Something is beyond your control. The universe is at play. And this is a week where perhaps, you know, if this was about a young woman, it could be somebody who's uh, younger, or this could be a child, or getting some assistance from a child, for a child, to a child. Maybe you're dealing with travelers or people at a distance. This is about starting over, starting fresh. And once again, there could be ties to somebody who is a dreamer, somebody who's looking at the stars with a vision, a mystic. Uh, maybe you're being visionary. Maybe you're thinking about your dreams and you don't quite know which direction to turn because, again, there's some uncertainty or maybe a lack of experience with regard to something. But you are opening up new doorways. There's new potential this week, new chances, new opportunities where you may be making important decisions, meeting new people. There could be a surprising turn of events for you that provides a solution to some mystery, but it's time for change. It's time for you to open your mind up. And maybe you're seeking greater freedom or you're freeing yourself from a situation by taking a risk and, again, trusting in that higher power because there is an unknown element to your circumstances. This is the start of an adventure for you where you're opening a new chapter and you stand to gain by exploring those possibilities, but cautiously so. This is not about being naive or gullible. And again, what you have faith in, who you have faith in, is going to be critical. And so you expand by opening yourself up to possibilities and using your common sense. This is a week where you have hope for the future. You're ready to take on more. You know that success and happiness is in your own hands and that you are the navigator for your future. For some of you, the decision may be spurred by something unexpected, some domestic change or a change in your career that may initially be unsettling, but the mission is to find that positive uh, meaning behind it. So for some of you, you're going to strike out on your own and do something different. 
Maybe, you know, this is a new job where your creative talents can really develop, where maybe you were stifled before, or you're going to move somewhere. You're looking at the future, where you want to move. Where would you be most happiest? Where could you prosper best? Uh, maybe you make some personal changes in the way you, you know, deal with others or the way you take care of yourself, or you've decided that you want to gain greater knowledge. You're going to enroll in some kind of course or program, or you're going to start that new relationship or make some positive changes in the relationship you already have. So you are going to, in the best of worlds, feel this renewed sense of confidence. The star card is going to refresh you, rejuvenate you. You're going to feel more hope, more alive. And it's possible that this may come through travel or dealing with travelers or meeting some new people that can give you some hope. You're trying to manifest something using your personal power that ties to the future, taking a, a calculated risk and focusing your will on something to create the magic and, and the star power that you seek. And so this is going to be a week where if you have some new ideas, you have a vision for the future, although remember, it may not unfold exactly the way you pictured. You can easily get some things started, and this is a great time to do that, to get out there, to network, and you may end up becoming a star or connecting to somebody who has some influence, people that can open some doors for you professionally. Uh, you, This is time for you to make some new acquaintances, some new friends. And so, be, you know, put make yourself known in some way. Now, for some of you, though, this is about being foolish. You haven't figured out where you should put your faith, and maybe there are issues of not being committed. There's an uncertainty because somebody can't commit to the future, or somebody has a fear of the unknown. So you may be making some poor decisions, or maybe you're getting out of hand. You're too uh, optimistic about the future. You're not seeing things in practical terms. Uh, it could be some unexpected problems that crop up because you've been impulsive or you haven't followed through on something or you're wasting your energy or you're just being gullible and taking a risk. You may be deceiving yourself about somebody or perhaps you have made the decision you want to connect to somebody and you think that person can help you so you're going to try to impress that person. Or you think somebody is going to save a situation for you and you direct your energy toward that person. And you end up realizing that that's a no-win situation. It's a dead end. You got nothing out of it. This is about your patience level and that right uh, standard of optimism because some of you are so blinded by your own desires or your to make a gain or to achieve something that you lose all sense of reality and you become insensitive to other people, their feelings, their needs. Now, that could be you or that could be somebody that you're connected to. It could be that you're having difficulty maintaining your optimism and finding the positive and you're stuck in a leaded consciousness where you can't move forward. You can't open up to new possibilities because you're stuck. Now, the third week, you have the Two of Swords, so you very well may be stuck trying to make a decision. You're uncertain about the future. Perhaps there was something unexpected that came up. You may have made some unexpected connections, or you're hopeful, but you're gathering information. You're getting in touch with your feelings. It could be feelings that you have cut off previously, and now you're, you're trying to repress those in some way. You're dealing with your emotions, or you're blocking your intuition and having to deal with that. Now, for some of you, there's some upsetting situations because there may be a few taking place, some kind of dispute or disagreement. You may be conflicted within yourself or in opposition to others. Uh, there could be third parties instigating disputes between two people. Or you simply don't know what's going to happen. You made a decision, you made a call, and now you're waiting to see. How is this all going to play out? or you're avoiding that decision. But this is a week where not a lot probably is taking place. You're dealing with something that feels stressful. Maybe you decide to call a truce, maybe not. Could be a difficult decision to be made surrounding some kind of settlement or agreement. 
and you're just waiting to see how that plays out. Now, you could have some newfound strength in waiting. You may wait out somebody until they break and you come out ahead. But you could very well be making the wrong decision. A stalemate uh, could create a problem. Or maybe you're going in a new direction. You have hope because the stalemate is over. Uh, so you're having to face your feelings this week. And how determined you are to move something forward is key to a situation. Either your will is driving something and it becomes an asset that you can use toward furthering your intentions or you may be so determined to do something that you work against yourself or so determined to wait a situation out that it works against you. You follow what comes easiest and you're going to regret it. So, you know, it all depends on the situation, your personal determination. But the third week of December, there's some uncertainty where either you're working in, in extremes, you're either overconfident or there's some doubt. You're doing too much or you're not doing anything. And so you're having to strike that proper balance. And it may be difficult for you. You may be upset if you're not getting the support or the assistance or you can't figure out what the future holds. You may start to get impatient or someone connected to you. And maybe you start to push a little bit. You get frustrated and you start saying some things impulsively or you start doing some things that aren't very helpful to your cause. So somebody may be trying to save a situation, to salvage it, to promote themselves, but this is going to be a period where you really have to be careful about where you put your faith, who you put your faith in. Are people committed? Are they going to let you down? Are they unreliable? Those are questions to ask yourself and your own intention. What's driving your decisions? Is it fear of change, fear of the unknown? Are you just trying to survive? Is it self-preservation? Is it all about you and getting ahead? And so you have to look at the motivation that's driving a conflict. It could just be you have some fears because you don't know what the future holds and you feel anxiety and they crop up when you don't even expect them to. Now, the last week you have this nine of pentacles. And so you again are making some kind of decision. Perhaps you're, you've made a decision to go your separate ways. You're not committed or somebody's not. You're going to go on a new path and you're happy with your own company. You want to be by yourself. You'd rather just be alone. Or maybe there's some kind of dilemma connected to property. Could be something upsetting. Maybe there's floodwaters or too much water or a situation where you don't have water or uh, a lot of rain. So, or maybe you need to water your garden, uh, water your property. Maybe the sprinkling system is a problem. Uh, but something connected to property. Now, this is going to be a week where you're focused on being self-sufficient. Some of you, this may be self-employment that you're dealing with. Or, you're again, you could be looking at the environment in some way. Uh, for others of you, maybe there are some issues connected to an animal uh, that you have to address. Or you know, getting involved in nature. This could be a week where you are trying to create uh, some kind of mastery over something, yourself or a skill. Maybe this gets back to the star card and your talent. Maybe there's something that is a, ha a, a hobby for you and you're trying to develop it and take that into a new direction. Uh, for others of you, you may be connecting with people, again, who are extremely attractive, who have some kind of star quality. Maybe this is somebody who's very graceful, beautiful, talented. They've got business savvy. They've got the entire package. And so uh, some of you, you know, you are focused on making a decision that connects to this person. Uh, maybe for some of you, this is about somebody on the side, a mistress uh, it could be somebody that is being assisted through the financial aid of someone else. So there are issues about expectation. What, what's, what you may do for yourself versus what someone else may do for you. So you may be looking at 
financial and personal independence or attaining something, money, success, security. Some of you, you're involved in some kind of fortunate property or real estate transaction, or maybe you're inheriting something, or perhaps uh, you're, you know, getting some unearned income like royalties or dividends. Issues of ownership and mastering resources may be important. For others of you, this is about a sense of culture and refinement, whatever that means. So in the positive, again, you're making some decisions and it ties to your personal achievement. That's where you find success, not relying on others because others may let you down. There may be issues of commitment. Uh, it could be you're expecting too much, demanding too much, or vice versa. And it creates a dilemma of some sort. You stand to gain by faith in yourself and what you can do. Now, some of you, somebody may be admiring your talents or your beauty or your skill, or you may be doing that to someone else. This could be a week where you get something extra, that attention, the bonus, the promotion, a bit of money, a party in your honor, or some thanks, some recognition. It could also be a week where if there was a dilemma or a situation, uh, maybe you make a good connection. Maybe family comes through for you somehow, or you make a good business deal or good business connection. You meet somebody new that can help you. So there could be some good fortune for you this week. Maybe you're even going to purchase or inherit something uh, that is large or valuable. But for others of you, the dilemma is upsetting because you don't have the independence that you want. And maybe that's because there's some financial instability through whatever means. Perhaps you had some unexpected repairs. Again, maybe they're water related or maybe you're having some problems that connect to property or real estate. Others of you, maybe you're concerned because there's a problem with your, your pets or you're having to deal with uh, the consequences of some poor choices, maybe even theft in some way. Or it could be that uh, you're, you've experienced some kind of financial setback because your success didn't last very long. Or for others of you, you know, you may could it could be outright deceit. Maybe somebody is swindling you out of something. Uh, if this is about perhaps a relationship, maybe you you're torn. You're conflicted because you don't know if you want to be free, if you want to commit, or you want to be settled. So there's this desire to to be connected, and yet you want your independence as well. So you're not sure which way to go. So. You could have some issues with making this decision. And for some of you, uh, this ties to perhaps, you know, again, where, where you've invested. Now, you may be connecting with people who don't have your back. And maybe that's the issue. There, there's some, there could be some gossip. Uh, could be somebody saying something unkind about you. Somebody's not being fair. Again, it could be, you know, an enemy of sorts or somebody reveals a secret because the star card says somebody's trying to get to the bottom of something and find out. So you could be dealing with gossips and rumors or maybe you say something. You step out there with the fool card, maybe innocently or naively, and you reveal something that comes back to bite you. This is also, again, about looking at where you seek pleasure, where you try to find entertainment, amusement, uh, what you invest your money, your time, your energy into, and what kind of return do you get? Is it problematic? Are these people who are troublesome? Do they put you in the line of fire, in danger? Do they break your heart? Uh, so you have to determine what, what your investment is worth, especially if you're blindly walking into something because you've been disappointed in the past or you lost something. So for some of you, the dilemma is you're in opposition. There's a conflict, a dispute. And maybe you end up with a false sense of security. There's some kind of financial loss or material damage or some kind of threat to your reputation. And you've got some decisions to make about whether the people you're with are honest 
or whether you've been managing something properly or, you know, you have a guilty conscience because you said or did something that was inappropriate. Now, the underlying energy is this Knight of Cups. And so for some of you, this is going to be water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, or just the traits of this night. For some of you, this is relationship-oriented. Perhaps, you know, this is about making decisions where you're vulnerable, uh, where you decide to get intimate with people. Maybe, you know, even pulling your clothes off. And is that a good idea? Because this is a knight who is seductive, uh, magnetic, intriguing, and he will pull every trick in the book to get you uh, and to get you to do what he wants. And even if that means getting you to pull your clothes off, he's extremely passionate and he's usually faithful. He, in fact, he can be obsessed with whomever he has found enchanting. He can be jealous and that can be a real issue. That may be the source of the conflict. But he can also be problematic in that he can have commitment issues because he may not be able to deal with the practical. He finds relief in drugs or alcohol. Uh, he can't deal with, you know, real life. There's some escapist tendencies that take place. So for some of you, this is going to be a month where you're dealing with something seductive. Could be, you, you know, an amusement or that you, you're seeking or maybe you're going on holiday or you get an invitation or a new relationship, a sexual encounter. Uh, so it's a month of offers, proposals, agreements of any sort, business, romantic, social. And so for some of you, you have to make decisions but you also have to keep in mind, what are these people bringing to the party? And negatively, this Knight of Cups is somebody who may not take responsibility for something. Maybe he's always in a bad mood for some reason, but and he it's never his fault. Or maybe he's misunderstood, or he's manipulative, or he's not who you thought he was. Uh, so for some of you, you're dealing with issues of betrayal, disappointment, jealousy, or perhaps... The unexpected is that there's a rival who is also attracted to your lover. So you may be frustrated because some of your demands are not being met. And maybe, though, they're, they're unfounded. It's unfounded anxiety because you're dealing with fears from past relationships that make it hard for you to trust. Or, you know, you're being vindictive towards somebody or somebody's being that toward you. So you may have to deal with with your desires or somebody acting contrary to your desires or some stressful emotions where somebody may be a habitual liar, they could be cheating, there could be some duplicity or somebody's trying to seduce you. Now, some of you, you may give in and give over. Perhaps you fall in love with somebody. You're tempted by this person. You're seduced. You're enchanted because you, 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 know, you hadn't planned on it. And yet, they're really difficult to resist. This is going to be a month of emotional situations. Uh, a lot of coming and going. Again, there could be uh, psychological, emotional situations, attractions, uh, agreements, unions. And this knight is also, though, going to lend his skills toward you. You're going to have this emotional intuition, a psychological advantage about how exactly to get what you want, or if there is a rival or an opponent, you're going to figure out how to outwit them, how to outdo them. Now, for some of you, you know, this is about bringing something that you want to life. There's something that you may be enchanted with or vice versa. You want to attract what you desire or somebody wants to attract you. So this is about your influence. But again, it's looking at where you may be deceiving yourself, where you may be dealing with some illusion and where you may need to take some steps to correct that. Because it's likely that either you or someone that you're connected to, is not being completely honest. Whether that is keeping a secret, not revealing everything, being deliberately vague, telling just enough, 
uh, something is not quite out in the open. Now, this is going to be an emotional month that connects to your ambitions. And you're going to have to focus on your emotions, your moods, your mindset, because things may be happening around you and how you cope with that, how you deal with that is going to be important. You're going to have to have faith, but also common sense. And your issues are going to mean you're going to end up tying up some loose ends, dealing with some things that perhaps you've been putting off or avoiding, looking at people and, and seeing whether they're honest or they're telling you everything or uh, are they doing what they say they will? Are they committed? Are they following through? You know, and, and the assistance or the hope may tie to your income, it could tie to your possessions, your sense of self-worth, your personal value system. And, you know, the full card may have to do with your creativity, your self-expression. Could be a business that you're starting or something that you're creating. Could be uh, your creativity, your romance. Could be your children. Uh, so the, the crux of everything is this dilemma that you're facing. The, the capacity to be alone, to be self-sufficient, issues connected to self-employment, to property, to real estate, to unearned income, uh, to how you seek pleasure, your entertainment. The problem is there's not a lot of motivation. Perhaps there's a lack of desire or drive or energy. Apathy has set in. And you may be excessively reliant on thought. Things are unsettled. So there could be some tension that pushes you to behave in ways that may be a little bit too offensive or too defensive, especially if to you the issue is one of principle. You will have the opportunity to expand your horizons in some way, but in more realistic terms. And something is going to happen. The biggest changes are going to be triggered by small events that happen here and there that bring about some overdue change in the way you look at things, your perspective, your views, your understanding. Now, you have a lot of mental clarity, and that can be your savior, especially if you need to think clearly, if your back is against the wall. But it can also mean that you take on this very ruthless attitude that you deliver with crushing speed. Now, you have energy that can be very cleansing. It can provide focus for you, heightened mental activity, and again, you're going to get some assistance in tying up some loose ends. But there is the danger for discord, disagreements, dissension, and getting carried away with your thoughts. So you have to really be focused and let reality ground you because you may be dealing with a lot of head noise during this month. All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know with your comments and don't forget to subscribe. You can also support me on Patreon, join me on my blog for daily posts, on Instagram and over at Vimeo. And of course, you can always book a personal reading at thealchemistastrologer.com.